Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> It is impossible for this box to exist. The longer I am in here, the crazier I feel. Our brains do not always see what is actually there. This is because of the way our brains perceive and process information. Check out some of these illusions and Dr. Smith and I will even help you build some impossible objects yourself. We use our senses to see, hear, and become aware of our surroundings. But our brains can be fooled. Try this. Hang a weight on an end of a string and swing the weight like a pendulum. For the strongest effect, swing the pendulum only lightly and keep looking straight ahead. Do not have your eyes follow the pendulum. The pendulum should look like it is traveling a straight path back and forth. Now, Dim the view through only one of your eyes. Dr. Smith is using a pair of sunglasses with one of the shades removed. Be sure to keep looking straight ahead and you will now see the path of the pendulum become circular. Crazy! Did you know everyone has an actual blind spot in their vision? Scientists believe either our brains are constantly filling in this blind spot or just simply ignoring it so we don't see a black hole everywhere we look. This blind spot occurs where our optical nerve leaves the back of our eye on its way to the brain. Here's what you can do to find your blind spot. First, cover your left eye and look at the dot. Try not to look at the cross. Just keep looking at the dot with your right eye. Move your head to the dot, and at some point, the cross disappears. Now stay at that point, and close your right eye, and look at the cross, and the dot disappears. For these two blind spot tests, cover your left eye, and look at the black cross, and move your head until at some point, the red X disappears and your brain fills in the rest. Here is a fourth blind spot finder. Close your right eye and with your left eye look at the red circle. Moving your head closer to the image, the blue line is no longer broken. This last blind spot finder test is pretty freaky. Close your right eye and look at the cross with your left eye. Without looking directly at the red dot, you will see it disappear and reappear as the red dot enters and leaves your blind spot. Here are some different classifications of optical illusions. When we fixate on a pattern, it momentarily remains on our retinas as an after image. Some theorize that small, involuntary eye movements cause this ghost image to overlap with the image we are fixating on, and the result is a vibrating image. How many legs does the elephant have? This elephant is missing a leg, or is it? Our brain gets confused because it's not the way we are supposed to be seeing things. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. This is a herring illusion. The two red parallel lines appear to be bent even though they are perfectly straight. This is also a bending parallel lines illusion, so it is also classified as a herring illusion. This is a Herman grid illusion. The small grayish dots at the intersections are actually not there. Our brain puts them there. The phantom dots disappear, though, 
if you look directly at them. This is a Canisa triangle. We perceive a white triangle where nothing is drawn. Do you see thin lines or bands along the gradient? If you do, they aren't actually there. They're called mock bands. A Mueller liar illusion is one where inverted arrowheads make a line appear longer when it really isn't. This is a Munker white illusion. In this image, A and B are actually the same color. Can you believe it? I couldn't, so I took a piece of paper and cut a hole in it and covered up everything else and compared the two colors. They are the same. This is another Munker white illusion. In this image, the horizontal gray bar is the same shade throughout the image. An Ebbinghaus illusion uses relative size perception to create an illusory effect. The orange circles are exactly the same size even though the one surrounded by the smaller circles looks larger. This illusion is classified as an Orbison illusion. The circles drawn over straight lines coming out from the center make the circles look distorted. This is a Frazier spiral illusion. Your brain makes you believe it is a spiral, however it is not, just circles. Follow the fake spiral with your finger to prove it to yourself. This is an example of a perspective illusion. The two gentlemen are exactly the same height. In this Jastrow illusion, arcs A and B are exactly the same size. This is a Chevrolet illusion. There are only five colors in this image. However, our brain perceives the top of each gradient to be darker and the bottom lighter. The squares look pink and red even though they are the same. This is the Bezold effect, when colors appear different due to adjacent colors. This one is just freaky. Here are some impossible objects. They cannot exist as a solid. This is called a Penrose Solomon's Knot, the Penrose Impossible Staircase, the Penrose Pentagram, the Penrose Pentagon. This impossible object is referred to as the Blivet Effect. Do you have any Legos laying around? If so, go get them because Dr. Smith is going to build a Penrose Triangle which is an impossible object, and he is going to use Legos. First, you will need a 10 stud and an 8 stud Lego, four 2 stud Legos, and some tape and some sort of weight so your Penrose triangle will not fall over when completed. When you look at the Lego structure from just the right view, your brain sees an impossible object, a Penrose Triangle. Don't have any Legos? No problem. Grab a sheet of paper, pencil, ruler, eraser, marker, and a scissors, and Dr. Smith will show you how to make a Verastro Impossible Triangle. This is what it is going to look like when you're all done. The first thing you have to do is draw a large equilateral triangle, or a triangle with all three sides the same length. Next, draw small equilateral triangles at each corner. Now join these equilateral triangles with lines that are parallel to the first triangle you drew. Do you see the innermost triangle? 
The last set of lines you need to draw are three lines parallel to this innermost triangle. Now we are all done drawing lines. We just need to start erasing. The first thing Dr. Smith is erasing are the small outside triangles. Then he erased the lines necessary to create the final image. To figure out which lines these are, just compare your drawing to the final image. To make the illusory effect stronger, Dr. Smith is now going over all the lines with a marker. He is now going to use a scissors to cut out the center triangle and the outside border to create his Verastro Impossible Triangle. A Verastro Impossible Triangle. Let's wrap up with something that is not an optical illusion. When you look at a piece of paper, it clearly has two sides. But what would a surface with only one side look like? What properties would it have? A Mobius strip has only one side. Let's make some Mobius strips and do some experiments with them. The results are surprising because we are not used to working with single-sided objects. Dr. Smith is first going to cut two one-quarter strips from a single piece of paper. He is then going to tape them together to make one long strip. Next, he is going to tape the two ends of the strip together, but first place a single twist in the paper before taping. The resulting object is a Mobius strip. In our first experiment, let's draw a single line down the entire Mobius strip. Where do you think you will end up? we end up right where we started. And that is what should happen on a single surface object. Let's make another Mobius strip so we can try something else. This time, let's use a scissors and cut right down the middle of our Mobius strip. What do you think will happen? we end up with one big Mobius strip. Let's make one more Mobius strip for our last experiment. This time, let's not cut the Mobius strip down the middle, but a fourth of the way and see what happens.
we get two Mobius strips. Let's review. Our brains can be fooled to perceive things that do not exist in reality. All of us have blind spots that our brains have to constantly take into account, otherwise we would see black spots all the time. A Mobius strip is not an illusion. It is a single-sided surface and therefore has some unusual properties.